Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you the useful value at time method which not only allows you to get the value of a property like the scale property, it allows you to get that property either before or after the expression is applied. This can be useful for all sorts of workflows and setups where you have expressions integrated or if you simply need to know the difference between the two. So with this script I have this video here which is wiggling the scale and we can get the value of both the scale before and after the expression is applied. So let's say on this frame, we have a relatively skinny scale, and when we run the script, pre-expression, the scale is 100 by 100 by 100, and post-expression, it is the proper value, which displays in After Effects. So before we get started with this video, I do wanna remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub to check out this code, try it out for yourself. Follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And also check out the link in the description to become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP to get cool perks and help support us financially. And also in the description, there are links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange for other cool stuff I make. All right, so we're gonna quickly code this guy from scratch because it's not too complicated of a script and you should be able to achieve this. All we need for setup is an active composition with a layer in it. We're going to, let's say, assume uh, layer one is their layer they want to modify. We're going to also assume we already have a scale uh, expression applied or something applied that we can mod uh, read before and after the expression. So the first thing I need to do is grab my composition, which I'll say is app.project.activeItem, and then our layer, which is comp.layer1. Very simple. Now we need to get the position property or sorry, the scale property or whatever you chose to use. In my case, that will be, sorry, I forgot to say layer is equal to that. In this case, the scale property is gonna be equal to our layer and we're gonna use the match name so it works in all languages. Uh, layer Adobe transform group dot property Adobe scale. We'll turn on word wrap and that is our scale property. Um, if we wanted to, we could basically say, if they don't have an expression applied, apply one. So then we can get the before and after. But in this case, we're going to assume they have it applied. All right, so we're gonna need two positions we want to read, our pre-expression position and our post-expression position. Now I'm trying to remember, if we type in uh, value at time, pre-expression means that if the property has an expression and this is true, True means no expression, okay? True equals pre-expression. False equals post-expression. Okay, that's a good way to remember it. So our, our pre-expression position, uh, sorry, I'm using position, I'm all, I'm all over the place here. This needs to be scale. Whatever you choose is what you choose. Our pre-expression scale is gonna be equal to our scale property dot value at time and we need to provide a time there's our comp dot time and we need to provide it with true or false in this case true because it's our pre go ahead and copy and paste this down below and all we have to do is change it to false now we have these two variables let's alert them we want to see what our pre-expression scale is going to be let's save that to string and we also want to see what our post expression scale is as well. So let's go to a new frame or we can even adjust this to make it more extreme. Here's a good frame. We got 115 and about 88. And when I run this, you can see we get 100, 100, 100, and then 115 approximately. It's actually very much more detailed here than in After Effects and 87.7. So with that, we can get the values that you see both displayed by After Effects at the surface level and the values um, below when, when you actually click on it and it displays the original value. So that can be super useful in all kinds of setups and scenarios, how to get the pre-expression and post-expression values of your properties using a value at time, of course. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Follow us there for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates.
If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get up with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so in the description by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. And also check out the links to AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to check out some of the other cool stuff I make. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.